Hi everyone and welcome to Dark Souls Yoga with me, Jamie. We have a fantastic routine today for the from soft beginner. You don't need any souls, you don't even need to know how to parry. All you need is to rest at your nearest bonfire and let's begin. So we begin today's routine in the, the rest pose or the resting at bonfire pose. Um, this is something you will find yourself doing uh, quite often, uh, either because you just died or you need to go and do a bit of leveling up. And really, uh, I like to start, um, start each day with this pose and kind of really get myself grounded down physically, but also take, take that bit of time uh, to kind of mentally reflect on uh, where all my souls are kind of lying up or should I put into strength or dex. Right leg is kind of crossed over underneath your left one, kind of in a, in a raised kneel position uh, or vinyasa as, uh, as the experts call it. You just, uh, to just take a moment for yourself, kind of close your eyes and really focus on your breathing. We're gonna breathe in for three. And out for three. <sighs> Letting go of all that frustration, that enemy who just killed you. Breathe in for three. And out for three. <sighs> I don't actually know if that was three, but you get the, posi the point. Lots of nice, deep, yummy breaths. <laughs> Once you feel you're ready to, to, to start your day, to tackle the world, have another go uh, at that boss run, um, we move into our second position now. So from here, you take this right leg, bring it all the way up, out to your front, matching your left. And really here, we're gonna ground down into the, the buttocks, the, the glutes, send, send lots of positive energy down here. And I want your, your legs to kind of be the uh, parallel and like like two ski slopes kind of just swooping down so I'll just turn to the side here you can see that that buttocks there give it a wiggle give it a little woo, jelly but really it's kind of about grounding down through your foundation nice kind of raised raised back position and uh, this is known as the the patches squat so again uh, a nice kind of seated position that focused physically on um, a nice calming kind of like start to your day, but equally uh, a bit of time for meditation to think about what, uh, what patches is. So hands can be here on the knees, down here on your shins. Uh, I like to put them uh, behind my knees here in this little, this little gap. Woo! And again, kind of close, close your eyes, nice big deep breath to kind of start your day. Collapsing into the shoulders, rising again through your chest. For three, whatever three is to you, and breathe out again for three. Patches. From the patches squat, we're going to come all the way onto our front now by sending this right knee back. Right knee back, this left leg again, still in the same position, it's still grounded, it's your foundation. And uh, we're going into what's called the prayer position. So from here, left hands, nice, nice and strong, grounded into the earth, really send your energy down to that. And your right hand comes up. And in this, this, this prayer position, you, you'll, you'll find yourself doing this for things like using your, your homeward bones and those those moments of kind of like sheer panic. I've got to get the hell up here. Relax, take a nice deep breath for three and clench that fist and come into prayer position. And the reason we do prayer position is it's this great transition to get from your kind of your mat game and kind of ground the game into this springboard of energy to get onto your feet. So from here, hold this position for three. <sighs> and 
And what we're going to do is we're going to push off from this, this, this right leg. These two things stay strong, but push off from that right leg. And as we do that, hand comes to the side and we're going to jump up into the jump for joy. So just take it very slowly for now, kind of prayer position, push off from your right, coming into a single leg squat almost, and then you're going to jump and fist pump into the air, the jump for joy. So in full motion now, ready, three, two, one, and jump for joy. And we come onto our feet. From here, uh, this is a great time to kind of flex yourself out, do a, do a bit of the wave pose. Um, this might seem like quite a, uh, a, gentle, a gentle position or vinyasa, as it were. But the, the point of this gesture is it's, it's just polite sometimes, whether you've invaded somebody or you've been invaded, it, it doesn't matter who, who started it. A gentle wave is just the right way to uh, signal, signal your intent, malicious or otherwise, and gives the, gives the old shoulders a little bit of a shake and starts to kind of loosen, loosen up this, uh, this upper body. We hold tension all over ourselves from legs, the toes, the ears. Uh, the great thing about Dark Souls Yoga is it's just kind of really opening yourself up to the world, to new experiences, and then crying at the end of the day. So from here, we're going to heel toe. Is that what I did there? Heel toe our legs out to a nice wide legged stance. Now you might need to raise your, your shorts for this if you're wearing shorts. Um, uh, if you are if you are naked, um, doing a sole level one run, that's absolutely fun. Whatever loincloth you've got on is great. And from here, we're going to turn our right knee out to face the right end of the edge of our mat, but keep the left toes, the left foot pointing forwards. And um, you know, ideally, you get the the lower part of your thigh kind of parallel to the ground. Uh, we're not going to do that today because this is a beginner's guide. Uh, I can do it, I'm just not going to. Um, but we're just going to focus on position. And from here, you may have seen this before, and you may think that you can kind of raise your hands up like this and come into some sort of warrior pose. Now, this is actually a misconception about Dark Sword Yoga. Uh, the warrior is a starting class, it is a completely different thing to a gesture. And actually, what we come into here, you kind of raise the arms, but bring this left hand across. Aha! Grab the bowstring, and voila! The Knights of Gwyn pose, or otherwise known as the <laughs> Archers of Anil Londo. You pull your drawstring back, now raise the bow ever so slightly, and fire the arrow. Now this is a really great stretch for kind of opening up your, 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 your chest when you kind of pull the arrow back really kind of stretching all the way through from your fist all the way back into that shoulder. Aim up high and release. And once again, arm comes round, pull the arrow, aim it up high, right in Seed's face and release. Now, the beauty of this one is we can do a bit of reverse Dark Souls Yoga. So bring your right foot in. Send the left foot that way, start bending into that nice juicy thigh quad, whatever muscle that is. And again, raise the arms, right hand comes around. Aha! Arches of Londo on the other side, or whatever it was called. Aim it up and release. Uh, now, depending on if you're going for the Drake Sword or not, you might have to do this over a hundred times or you know, whatever it is these days. For now, you've got the idea, but however many arrows you want to fire off, whether they're fire, dark, or just plain feather, is totally up to you. Bring your left leg back in, your right leg back in. We do a little bit of that heel towing again. Oh, look at that. Get juicy up in here. And bring your feet now, flesh together, really, really tight, no space in there ground down again through your sixth bone or whatever it's called. And from here, uh, you've guessed it, we're going to kind of do a soft, soft bend in the knees 
and then we're going to reach up tall into the praise the sun pose. Now, if you feel your arms are kind of like too tight, like this kind of bring them way out here into a nice flying V, really strong through the feet here, kind of raise the toes to kind of raise awareness of pushing down into that heel and kind of just, just look up and praise the sun, bask in its glory and just hope, hope for some jolly cooperation. Well, watch your balance. Now you can hold this for um, as long as the, the day is dark. Praising the sun, life is good. We travel from here down onto our knees into collapse. You've just been backstabbed. You got invaded. You didn't see it coming. You were too busy praying the sun. And we collapse again, grounding down through the knees. Nice, big, juicy, juicy, yummy breaths. The, the longest you've taken all day. In for three and release. This is just a big collapsing sigh. <sighs> Life isn't good. Life isn't good at all. Now there's a few variations of this, um, but we're going to uh, actually end on a more upbeat, positive note. So from our from our collapse, given up on life, we're going to take our legs and we're going to swing them round, left or right side. Really doesn't matter. It's up to you. Into a cross leg position. Um, ground down again through those knees you can put a little bit of extra pressure but nice nice long spine sit up nice and tall here for our final pose the toast now uh, typically this would be done uh, with uh, an actual drink so if you do have a drink now's the time to um uh, to grab one um, if you don't that's absolutely fine just use your use your imagination or whatever but we sit here in toast pose nice nice long back and we cheers to Katerina and finish our drinks hmm mm. Sometimes, you know, it's okay to take um, multiple, multiple breaths. <laughs> Good God. <sighs> when did drinking get so hard? Nice, big, big wipe and stretch of the mouth. Let's put that off over there. We end today cross-legged, cheers pose. Close your eyes, take this, take this time for yourself to reflect on your soul's run. What's next? You're gonna go after that legendary weapon. We're going to give that boss another go. We're just going to go and farm some souls. Whatever your day looks like, imagine that now. Deep, yummy, yummy breaths. We sit here for three. <sighs> sit here for two. <clears throat> and we sit here for one. Hands together, bow to the head. <sighs> you died. Uh, thank you so much for, for watching, guys. This was Dark Souls Yoga. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Share it with your friends. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us over on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. If you enjoyed it and want to see more of these yogas, just, just let us let us know in the the comment below, or if you simply want to see more Dark Souls, then you've definitely come to the right place. But until next time, 
Ciao.